All right, guys, Lightfall's been out for a little bit over a month now, and I have not taken Strand off since I've gotten this subclass. I feel like I'm constantly learning new ways to perfect how I play with this, and just really been enjoying it. So I want to show you guys how you can master Hunter Strand and make plays like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go over my entire build now. I'm gonna get a little bit detailed and explaining exactly how every fragment and even the exotic all tie in together with these seasonal artifact mods as well. And I'm also gonna talk about some of the downs as well with playing Strand Hunter particularly. So let's get into, I'm gonna start with the subclass first. So uh, I've been running just the reload dodge, just because you get it faster, I find, because you're trying to use that suspend dodge as much as you can, right? So I've been using this one purely just for that reason. And I've also been typically using like a kill clip immortal or kill clip round robin so it just pairs nicely with it and then you don't have a choice for the the melee and then you don't or yes you do have choices for grenades but if i'm being completely honest if you're playing on a hunter like i think you definitely need to be playing with grapple <laughs> i think you're i don't know i think you're wasting your time with the other two grenades the shackle grenade seems kind of weak and threading grenade just seems like a weaker skip grenade basically um and then your two aspects are pretty massive actually so the widow silk you get a second grapple or grenade charge it applies to all your grenades actually but your second part creates a grapple point i don't want to say grapple tangle but it creates a grapple point where you put your grapple which is great if you play with multiple strand hunters and start them like trials you can take turns um who uses the grapple first so that way you guys always have grapple up it's crazy and the second one is just a strand dive it's the one that you dive near people and it suspends people nearby it's kind of like shattered over the bit more range on it um and it's uh it's very powerful but it's also very risky um <clears throat> and i'm gonna go over my fragments so threat of ascent is a absolute no-brainer you guys have to use this one it's kind of mind-blowing how powerful this fragment is it's got too much going on to it in my opinion so activating your grenade aka using your grapple reloads your current weapon and it grants you bonus ae it's plus 30 ae and it gives you handling for short duration as well i'm not even sure sure agree it gives you reload speed too i swear it does i feel like it does Maybe i'm wrong though but i'm gonna guess it's about 30 handling is what it gives because i know it's 30 ae and then it gives you plus 10 mobility which is great on Hunter, so I don't know. Anyways, next one, Thread of Generation. This is one where I don't know for sure if it's worth it, but <clears throat> I noticed when I swapped this, I felt like I wasn't having, I have my grapple all the time. It wasn't an issue all of a sudden. So I don't know if it's happening that much, maybe just in my head, but basically as you deal damage, you get grenade energy, but you get minus 10 discipline. But just, you know, as you're shooting people, whatever, you're, you're getting your grenade back quicker so you can grapple more often. I think it's definitely worth it. This one is kind of a weird one. I don't think most people don't talk about this one. I will We'll touch more on this one in a bit basically when you have woven mail active a weapon final blow creates a tangle and i'll emphasize why that is so important later on and you also get plus 10 strength which is kind of useless in my opinion on hunter suspend unravel okay so thread of continuity 
Suspend, unravel, and sever effects applied to targets have increased duration plus 10 strength. So basically, it just makes your suspend last longer and sever. Those will be the two ones that you're going to notice more. Sever when you hit them with the melee, suspend when you do the dodge, <clears throat> or is actually another way to do it. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I'm going to go over uh, the exotic. So this is like the only Strand Hunter exotic right now, Sertarachne's Facade. I'm 90% sure I said that right. So let me know if I said it wrong. I'm pretty sure I said it right. Um, but anyways, basically when you um, grapple, you get Woven Mail and uh, reduced uh, flinch as well while Woven Mail is active. It's really awesome because it allows you to play like very aggressive and just, you know, you, you'd be surprised, especially like in an immortal meta right now where people are spamming SMGs like a lot. If you're flying through the air with a grapple and you have Wolven Mail up, they're going to be hitting body shots probably and they're going to do a lot less damage to you. And you're going to, sometimes it feels like you don't take any damage at all. So it's pretty nice. Sometimes like if I'm in like a 1v1 in trials, I'll grapple onto like behind a wall just to get Wolven Mail up. I'm not even trying to move with it. I'm just getting Wolven Mail up. Um, but after this i'm gonna go back to the fragment here thread of transmutation when you've woven mail a weapon final blow creates a tangle so i need to emphasize tangles are so unbelievably underrated in strand right now no one utilizes them correctly they are like the swiss army knife of like destiny 2 right now they do way too many different things right now especially with the um artifact mobs I'll, I'll go into some more but basically like what I was doing in trials is I was grappling like on mid, especially in javelin was easier. Where you grapple it out mid, get woven mail up, get a snipe. Now I create a tangle off of that guy I sniped. And now there's a tangle there and it's multi-purpose. You can shoot it to do damage to people nearby. You can grapple onto it as a grapple point. A lot of people don't know that. You, if you create a tangle on a guy that you just killed, you can grapple onto that tangle and you will get your grapple back as if you grappled onto a grapple point. And then you can grab it and then throw it and then grapple on again. Like the gameplay loop, once you start figuring these things out, and it took me like probably like three weeks to understand that. Once you figure out how to do that, you move so fast, it's not even fair. And then the whole time, right, you, you, you have woven mail flying in to get the first pick. Then you have woven mail again as you go to get the tangle. And then when you throw the tangle, you have woven mail again and then if you don't use it as like a grapple mechanism and not to mention if you throw it in while you're grappling onto them it'll hit someone and do damage probably <clears throat> but there is two particular seasonal artifact mods that make this really broken it kind of makes it like um i'd compare it to shatter dive but like you have to get the first kill first so you have to earn it right and then it becomes broken but destroying a tangle with the strand weapon suspends uh, targets damaged by the explosion and the radius is like ridiculous. I want to say it's like 15 meters Maybe 20. I don't maybe it's not quite that far, but it's it's a big radius and it goes I swear it goes through walls like it's It's way too forgiving um, But yeah, so it'll suspend people Which ties into the whole like, you know, the other fragment makes them suspend for longer and then this one threaded blast destroying tangle with the strand weapon creates a larger and more damaging explosion now i don't know if this is like kind of random i don't know if it's like a trip mine where it kind of like tapers off on damage the further away a target is but i do know i've straight up one tapped people with it before sometimes i haven't but there's been times where you know i was like i'll show a clip right now where a guy got a res and I shot it, and they had overshields, and they all died, and I don't know why, <laughs> but sometimes it just straight up one taps people, and it's pretty crazy. And it, it, I'll say majority of the time, it'll suspend them and make them one shot, which is just such an easy cleanup shot kill. Um, but basically, kind of like the gameplay loop is just spamming woven mail, spamming tangles, and grappling around as much as you can as possible, and it's just like. I, the one thing I'll emphasize is don't underestimate tangles, spam them as much as you can and grapple onto them, throw them at people. And then the other part about the tangles that nobody's really utilizing properly in trials is that you can three peak in trials for 20 seconds. So if I go, if I grapple to mid, right? And I get a snipe on a guy who's kind of by himself. Now I go run, I pick up that tangle and his teammates are probably somewhere far away. Now I can sit on that res with the tangle in third person for 20 seconds. And then it's uh, usually by then they'll push you and then i'll know exactly where they're coming from throw the tangle deal 100 damage 
right like you, you see what i'm saying like it's so it's so powerful and then there's also kind of like a wombo combo you can do with it where there's two ways of doing it the easiest way to do it is you grab the tangle you throw into the direction of somebody like hopefully try to utilize cover a bit if you can but you throw it grapple onto that tangle as it flies towards the person it'll land on them and do 100 damage almost always if you throw it relatively close to them it'll like track them and then do the grapple melee right after and you will one tap them basically it'll be a double 100 damage 100 it'll do like 210 damage total like it'll just you just kill them instantly it's a wombo combo it's pretty pretty quick and then also you can utilize the grapple melee as essentially like a shoulder charge slash icarus dash movement um sometimes i will grapple and not with no intent of actually grappling i'll just grapple to do the melee and quickly get behind it's essentially a shoulder charge when you use it like that um and then other times you can use it to chuke out people where you grapple towards somebody and you turn around and do the melee and then you turn around again and jump towards him with a strafe jump. You, you, it's just very hard to keep track of sometimes. And then you're getting that plus 30 AE. And depending on some guns you have, you can get like 88, like a rose of elemental capacitor. You can get like, I don't know, like, I want to say it's like 80 AE just from grappling. And it lasts for like 10 or 15 seconds. It's, it's pretty crazy. And then as well with the grapple, there's a couple different ways of doing it. I've noticed that if you're, if you grapple and you time it just right, where you switch your weapon, uh, right like kind of at the peak of your momentum it like just keeps your momentum going like really fast and it's great for getting to mid first and then you can use the melee to get around a corner quickly i wouldn't spam melee after every single grapple because it does kill your momentum so you want to try to maintain the momentum um by like kind of letting the grapple bring you towards um but yeah no it's it's super strong it's super underrated i don't know why everyone's saying like it's bad like i i think hunter strand particularly i haven't played the other two classes but hunter strand is like i can't stop playing it. it's so much fun and it's so strong and i think it's a great mix of you know um it's it technically is ability heavy but uh i i don't think i think a lot of players aren't gonna really use it properly and it's not like handing out free kills you know what i mean so um now the drawbacks there's two things that are drawbacks in my opinion the number one glaring problem is the super um it is it's funny i i tweeted a, like a joke i said it is the new strand super is the best super in the game if no one's looking at you <laughs> because it, it's funny that's like the perfect way to describe it because if no one's looking at you you feel literally like spider-man on steroids it's hilarious but if they're looking at you like if you're playing trials and there's three guys with a mortal target lock just waiting for you and you try running into it you will die instantly <laughs> it's not even not even close and like i noticed like a dawn blade sword just like one single dawn blade sword one taps it a lot of fusion rifles almost one shot it or one shot if they hit all the bolts a shotgun melee easily one taps it it's kind of like the equivalent of like golden gun armor i think so and then as well it's i think it's the longest cooldown super in the game so last weekend we were playing burnout zone trials for dominion and it took me like five years to get my super and then we were playing against triple teams of bubbles and wells you know you're there's just games where i'm just not getting supers i think i got like i don't know five six supers the entire weekend of trials i played it's just you just don't get it very much especially in zone trials so i think they should bring the cooldown down for sure they could leave the health kind of low maybe buff it a little bit but they could leave the health down lower um because it is very good super actually so again if they don't actually see you it's so damn strong it um it struggles vertically it's vertically challenged um if someone jumps way above your head it's kind of like burning mall in that way it'll just like kind of shoot the thing under them and it won't actually hit them so you have, to, you have to try to match their height constantly my biggest piece of advice is try to stay as high as you can as possible always so i always pop it like behind cover as high as i can and then i come grappling through the sky and then you can do the strand dive onto them and then spam the heavy it's a two tap for the heavy spin but if you get three people suspended it's a really quick way to kill them um or i just try to solo out one person and um i would say it's also kind of like nova warp in a way where it's great for baiting out certain shutdown supers it's great for stopping thunder crash like it's unbelievable for countering thunder crash oh i'm gonna i have to try popping this oh He, he ran out, ran out, ran out. Yeah. 
Dude! Oh my goodness, best super ever! Holy crap! <laughs> And it's also great for stopping Blade Barrage sometimes, as long as you don't get caught initially, because the tracking's pretty strong and then it locks on to you. Um, but that would be my like tips for the super. I'll try to have some gameplay in the background right now, kind of showing me using it, hopefully, and uh, how, to, how to use it properly. But I would just highly recommend you stay as high as you can away from people. Um, <clears throat> and then the next thing that's kind of a drawback is the melee. It's good and bad. Um, it has very low range, and the tracking's kind of weak um it's nothing like the shurikens on stasis but the tracking can kind of kind of work out but it uh it's great because it's a great way for clean up a shotgun kill and it's also great if you know you're going to be getting into like a primary duel you can just chuck it out on somebody and essentially now you have dr because they do less damage because they're severed so it's great for that and then it creates a tangle after after you kill them so but a lot of times i find myself accidentally using it when i'm trying to do the grapple melee because i play in controller on ps5 so i can't i don't have different fancy keybinds um so i can't really f make a way to have a you know two different melee buttons basically so a lot of times i'm wasting it and getting killed because of it or i've noticed every once in a while where i went to throw the melee and i missed and then i went to follow up like right after with like a, a normal melee on a guy but then the, the, the melee tracked back to me, and instead of punching the guy, I caught it. And <laughs> so I died, obviously. <laughs> so that's happened a couple of times. But basically, yeah, long story short, spam tangles as much as possible. Strand is particularly strong right now because of tangles. You can shoot them and pretty much one tap or spend people. The super is great and it's terrible. Um, definitely recommend Sertorachnes Sir Facade, great exotic, um, very, very strong. It escalates it to the next level. And um, yeah, I, I, hopefully there was, you know, some of the gameplay was good for you guys. I don't make videos like this very often. This would be a longer one of me mostly just talking. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future on, on the other builds that I've made, um, please let me know down in the comments section below and uh, subscribe if you enjoy the video. I appreciate all the support I've been getting lately, especially on Twitch. So please drop me a follow over on Twitch as well. I'd appreciate to see all you guys there. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this one and we'll see you on the next one.